NBC. Oh, really? What is it? Just that we're going live. Oh. <laughs> My Facebook notified. <laughs> but we're, our phone's vibrating. I think it's going to be happy, actually. I guess I just. I know it was your company. You, you why I had to run the street. I really think you fuck with me. <laughs> in the van, but that wasn't in the plan. I just really like your company. Mine is your company. Your man's tummy. Pull up my pants like I was going dunk a free. <laughs> now you understand like you was under me. Oh, I forgot. You're under three. Vans, my man's is a fan. Now you understand. Let's I want to have a drink. drink. What if fans in the camp for the night? Yeah, I feel like what I should. Stand and watch things for the night. As long as it's I. Are you giving blood when you go to the doctor? I can do this Why can't you not drink? No, it'll be all right. I don't know. You're like, I just don't want to go to the doctor. Probably not the best. I'm like, what if it's a bad idea? I don't know if I get that. What's even over there? Man, I had Patron on Saturday. There's a pretty ass bottle over there. A rose top. I'm just sharing this. This thing. I do not see Tito's. Ooh, they got that Ciroc though. I don't see Tito's either. They I wonder if the Ciroc. I wonder if the Ciroc is. Uh, oh, hello. <laughs> Hi. Um. Welcome back to Other Words for Whore. Um. We're just uh, you know, just uh here randomly. It's been. I wonder how long it's been actually. Like. Literally months. I feel like it's been like <laughs> four months. <laughs> yes. Um, cause every time I made plans to come in, I was like literally dying. Um, hung over to death. Ugh. I was actually supposed to be here Monday, but once again, I was dying. So probably shouldn't be drinking anymore, even though I'm like staring at the bottles right now. <laughs> Like, like which one? Maybe just one. Yeah, just one. Just it doesn't hurt. One shot. Um, I'm still trying to share this thing, but yeah, I don't even have an outline for today. I was just like, let's fucking get in there, since it's been a bazillion fucking years. You messaged me like two hours ago. Like, yeah. <laughs> you want <laughs> this podcast? Like, let's go. Fuck All it. Right. When are we gonna talk about? It? I don't know. We'll figure it out. But um, just let me share this shit quick because I can't multitask because I'm a special type of lady. Did you work last night? I didn't. I've been there the last three days. Oh, how was it? Wasn't there a game? Yeah. It was last night was decent. Um, okay. Yeah, we're starting to get our normal crowd back. They've got the back bar all ready to open. Oh, yeah. oh, when's that opening? I, I, I missed know. the back they bar. Just are like They just, like, put all the liquor up and stocked everything and, like, got it ready. Um, yes. And we just hired a new bartender, too. She's getting drunk. Oh, I, I saw her. Doesn't she got, like, tattoos and shit? Yeah. Yep, she's got some sleeves. Yeah, yeah. I saw her last time I worked. I'm surprised I could see straight because... I don't know why the fuck, but I keep going. Was I keep going Saturday to seven. I drove you home? Yeah. <laughs> In my car? Yeah. Well, I was wondering how my car got there. I was like, I was like, I drove you drunk don't as fuck. Don't remember that night I was at like, all, do you? No, okay. no, I don't. I like okay. I remember going upstairs to the champagne room with Emily, and I remember getting champagne. And I kind of remember. I kind of remember the dance and shit, but I, I don't remember anything after that. And you don't remember. And I don't know home. where my money is from that night. Like. All oh, no. Like, all I have from Saturday's money is a bunch of ones. And I'm like, mm, okay. I know I made more than that in this <laughs> yeah. campaign. Room. I'm like, what the fuck? And I have, like, all Friday's money, but just, like, Saturday is MIA. Um, <laughs> and then I, I went home, and then I went out again. And then I was out all day Sunday. Yeah, I came over. I like we got into a little bit of an argument. Oh, <laughs> about what? Um, this must have been her. How do you not remember this? Fam. I'm so okay. I literally so have we no left, idea. I came to the club at like one o'clock. <laughs> um, I had been out. I was at rain. All that situation happened. I told you. Oh before. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I brought you his keys. 
<laughs> that was that night. I came over that night. Oh. I drove your car home. Well, I drove your car halfway home. Whole time I thought that I was drove wasted. No, I, well, half waste. Well, that, that's only two minutes. So. Wait, she was halfway wasted or half- no, oh, half no. Waste, because, okay. I was blacked out. <laughs> Um, we were well, all at the club together and one of my other friends, one of our other friends was there. So they were going to ramp Mila's car. I said, I'll drive her car. Trevor will follow me in, in her, in his car. He'll follow her car and we're going to drive it to her house, drop it off. And then we're going to come back to Seville, grab my car and then, you know, we can leave. <laughs> so I so put my GPS too. on and Mila is in the back seat, and she's screaming at me, trying to tell me directions. She's like, turn here, turn oh here. Oh, my God. I'm and so she, sorry. like, snatched my phone out of my hand. And I was like, no, it's the next turn. Like, the GPS is saying turn left at the next left. And you're like, take this right, right here. Oh, my gosh. I'm a psychopath. And you snatched my phone. It was like, you're goofy as fuck, and threw it back at me. And it oh, my God. Yeah. Max me in the side of my face. I'm so sorry. Girl, I pulled over and Woo! I was like, you're going to have to figure this out from here. She said, no. She said, it's time. Time for you. <laughs> but you were like literally around the corner from yeah. your house. So oh Sarah was gosh. just sitting in the front seat like uh. <laughs> not saying anything. She's just looking like. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And then some like. I didn't even know she was homeless there. Homeless lady barefoot walks up to Trevor's car like trying to get things from him and he's like do you not see what's happening and he's hearing me and you yelling at each other oh my other. god saturday was lit <laughs> and then i get Whoa. home and you facetime me and you're like i'm so sorry babe <laughs> like <laughs> you just started apologizing i'm like you're good i'm about to come like, over what the and fuck? i literally just came over after <laughs> that was on saturday or friday yeah, no that was saturday like what the fuck time did I leave? We left. We left Seville at like one o'clock. No, like when? Oh, okay. So it I must like have left my house. Yeah. I must have left my house then at like four or something. Well, because I came back over to your house. Um, I came to your house at like two thirty three, and that yeah, time. um, I was there for probably like thirty minutes, and then I went back home. The fucking lit ass. And you said that ridiculous. you guys were leaving. I don't even know how I make it places like <laughs> I'm like and then my car's all parked there. My keys were missing for like for days. <laughs> literally for days. I even bought new fucking house keys today for $152. And then I just got my keys returned to me. So what a waste of $150. And the money that you would have made from yeah. that night because you were drunk, you don't even have. Like well, I'm just I'm, sure I'm you like, find it too, I'm like, like randomly. I'm like, did I like Put it in my locker or some shit because I knew I was going somewhere oh, after. Maybe. And you haven't been to sometimes work I'd be since, so. sometimes I'd be doing that. Well, it's just it's locked. But uh, sometimes I'd be doing that, and because because I don't because I like don't trust motherfuckers when I'm like out, you know. But I don't know. That would be my only no, guess. Yeah, if, if it's I, not there, if it's not at work, then I, I I'm just gonna have to you'll take the L. Find it. It's probably in your locker if you haven't you haven't been back to work yet. I can almost guarantee it's in your locker, especially if you dope. were going out after. Yeah, yeah, because that don't make no fucking sense. God damn, you're it. gonna open your locker up and there's just gonna be like a big old just a ball of hundred dollar bills with like a couple twenties and a fifty in there, just pulled up. And you're like, Literally, there just it is. like mm, this bitch life is in shambles. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on? Shambles, shambles. Yeah, I can't. I watched you get carried out of union on Sunday. Okay, and that Literally is not the first time that. That I've been carried out of union literally like I think it was like a month ago I got carried out of union because I guess I was tw I was twerking on this girl and this guy I found out the story of why I threw this bottle because this guy was pouring like champagne on me like we were in a music video or some shit so I was fucking wasted and I and I I, ha I guess I had a bottle of like tequila in my hand and I threw it at the at, I tried throwing it at the guy but it did not hit him and yeah, then they carried me out. They were like, she has got to go. There's, they probably have like my picture now. Like, please don't let this girl inside. <laughs> she cannot sex. handle her liquor. <laughs> like, <laughs> that is so fucked up. You be having a lit ass life though. You be having fun. You always are doing something, having fun. And mm -hmm. you be going, you be traveling, doing all type of fun stuff. Too much fun. Taylor, what? She said, after Kinsey paid $100 for you to get in. Oh, are you talking about uh, when I threw the bottle? Wait, nobody? Why Why would anybody pay $100 <laughs> to get into Union, though? Uh, I would have said no to that. 
to be in GA? Doesn't make any sense. Are we sure about this? Damn. That's what my sister is saying. I'm like, mm, I don't remember that, but I also was blacked out when I went there. <laughs> so, so who the fuck knows? But yeah, I mean, so those are there's a couple of reasons why I've been gone. Then I've just been in at Lollapalooza and camping. I'm so mad I didn't go to Lala. It was fun. We should go somewhere else too. I'm down. I've never done a festival. Oh my festival. god, they're so fun. Well, especially when it's like good ass music, like. And I, I finally did Molly. Well, it's been a long time because it's too scary. <laughs> I began way, too, way too fucked up. But I did like a tiny bit, and I was yeah. good. I was good to go. I don't think uh, the last time I did Molly was the pool party. Oh, yeah, that was a fun that time. That explains why it was so fun. <laughs> yeah, because mine is just boring and quiet. <sighs> I just get really high, smoke a lot of weed, and then all of a sudden, somebody was like, "Hey, you want to like just do the last of this?" I'm like, "Yes." <laughs> okay. Yeah, if <laughs> it's I'm like the up, third time I've I'll done do it. it, and I'm like, "Oh, this is not for Audrey." That was lit because there was just like rant, like random things on the table and. I, I know somebody accidentally did we were not taking do shots Molly. out of teacups. <laughs> little tiny little teacups. So cups. cute. I loved it. Fancy. And like I was not taking did left, I take a shot out of teacups? No, 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 no. It was like me swinging a bottle. It was like me, Sarah, and Justin, I think, that were we went into that like we went upstairs into the like where that pool room was and where the bar was and um Good we were times. doing shots with uh and then that's where that's it was where like was. it was like quiet. When we all first got there, <laughs> it was just bound to become a shit show. Well, yeah, like, it was like there, all the shit show I got kids. there late, so it was a really <laughs> like, busy. And then we were like one of the last people to leave too. And I, I was lit that night. Um, Trevor had to come get us, and I don't remember. Like I woke up that that was, wow, I did have a blackout night, and I had one shoe. <laughs> I was like, yes, where's you my other shoe? shoe? I lost my sunglasses. I still haven't had found them. So if anybody sees. <laughs> <My> sunglasses. <laughs> Literally, like they're octagons. This is why I don't buy expensive sunglasses anymore. Because yeah, no, they're not expensive. I'm like, whatever. I'd be losing shit. But. I got them at Target. Also, shout out Trevor for apparently just being your guys' chauffeur. Oh, Trevor's and he wins. Trevor's the realist. <laughs> Wrangler of drunk bitches every weekend. Wrangler of drunk bitches. Sure. He runs like a house for wayward girls. It's, like, it's, I swear to God. Like, oh that's where I end up when that's I'm like all go. fucked up and like. There's just, so many girls. I'm like, that you guys, and, like, you guys called Tyson that one day to get Siri. Oh my God. They, dude. You guys didn't even come with. You guys just gave her to him. Like, yes. This you was, and Trevor can take care of her. This was a drop off. Please. We just dropped drunk girls off at their house. Because I had to go to work. I was like, no matter what happens, I'm going to fucking work. I swear to God. Mm -hmm. And of course, this bitch. I don't know. I don't know if she got drugged or just couldn't handle that much liquor. Yeah, she was lit. But that was tough. I've, I've never seen that before. There's only been one time in my life where I've been that drunk where I was not able to walk, where I needed somebody to carry me. I've had that one time in my life, and it was the worst experience ever. I woke up the next day, and I was like, I don't... I don't remember anything. And I did stupid shit. Like, I guess, like, I literally, like, I just, this is back in, like, 2011. I was dating this guy, um, my ex-boyfriend, Pun. Like, he had just moved in with me. We were together for, like, a, like he had been living with me for a month. And I invited my ex out to the bar. <laughs> and we're at the bar drinking. And I'm like, I don't know how this was going to work. Like, it's, like. I have a man at home and I invite this guy out and then I get shit face drunk, don't remember anything and like Yeah, you crazy. Man. Did you invite him out when you were drunk? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, yeah, I didn't do it sober. Yeah. Um, no, I no, when I'm was fucked at up, the bar already like ten I'll, shots yeah. in tequila and I guess I just was like, Hey, hey what you doing? Come yeah. through. Like I will go down my Bad list idea. and just like text every dude and be like, "Come here, come here, come here." See, no, and then at the end, I'm like, "Why I did I just one invite guy six that I'm just dudes. like obsessed with?" And I'm just like, "You, where are you? Where the fuck are you?" <laughs> I'm just like, whoever responds first is the winner. <laughs> no. I will. No, see, I wish, I wish I was like that. Just because I get so crazy over people, like the minute I start fucking with you, I'm just like, okay, like you're with me every single day. If you're not in my bed every night, or I'm not in your bed, we're arguing. Period. Wait, why are we arguing if we're not in each other's beds? That's just how I am. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I love, I love I'm, the cuddles, but I do. not from not from no random ass dude. 
Well, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, I have, like, I always end up getting, like, one guy that I fuck with, and then I just, I'm, like, him. Like, there's yeah, no, obsessed. like, that's why I was surprised that I, like, called somebody, like. It takes a minute for me to, like, actually be obsessed with you. Like, even my ex, it took, like, like, he wanted to be, like, exclusive, and I was, like, I remember why? when you guys used to, when you guys first started dating, you're like, I got three dudes, you know, oh my, like, you're like, dumb. I don't know which one I'm going to, and then finally you're like my boyfriend. I'm, I'm like, like I'm literally right. actually obsessed with him. <laughs> I will meet a guy and literally be like, that's my man now. So, oh my God. You know that. We just had this conversation yeah, last weekend. I know. It turned out horribly. I thought I was a relationship hoe. Because, I mean, I'm, I'm really, I'm really single for that long because I'm a motherfucker. I always want to be like, Let's be exclusive, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm a very relationship type of person. But now I'm like, I've I'll never love in, anyone like, ever long, again. serious relationships. Why the fuck want this? Or it's just like some guy that I meet and I'm like, okay, he's crazy. Mm -hmm. I like him. These crazy <laughs> ass motherfuckers. I swear I to like God. The crazies. I don't know how I attract them. I swear to God. I was just having this conversation with my friend too. Like, she's like, bro, like you attract all these crazy ass dudes. Like, I don't know how. Like, I literally, like, how did I, I met? I blame you. Like you know how, what? How crazy? <laughs> how crazy of dudes are we talking? Like we just gotta stop. Your, stop talking to the drug dealers. He dudes. has your like marriage planned out on like Pinterest. Crazy? No, or, like, like beat no, your ass, crazy, put a gun in your like, face. Crazy, crazy in like the if of the you type of crazy. Crazy like if you talk to another man, if you look at like another man, crazy. if you if you speak over me while I'm speaking, I will fuck Ooh, you yeah, up. One of those. You, you look, yeah, like I didn't. Like, I whoa. didn't do anything. I literally didn't do anything. And I'm like getting yelled at. And I'm like, what? I didn't. Okay. <laughs> you know what? This is always. Call you tomorrow, babe. <laughs> That's my problem. <laughs> Fucking psycho ass motherfuckers. I just need me a nice, sweet boy. I need another cat. <laughs> that doesn't I'm have just Instagram. Have cats. Maybe I don't think that be. he's in, in Minnesota. I like need to go to like San Diego or some, Miami or something. But I don't know if there's any like sweet boys in Miami though. Just fine ones that are probably super toxic. Those motherfuckers. I had a really nice guy from Wisconsin that was gonna fly out last weekend to see me, and I completely blew him off. Yeah, for a fucking psycho. See. <laughs> Love See myself. what happens. <laughs> and he was so nice. He was such a good guy. And he like had a good job. And he's like doing all this stuff. Wisconsin. And I'm like, Man, he's from Madison. He like just finished school out there. And I'm like, oh, you're a college boy. That's Aww. great. And <laughs> He, like, bought a plane ticket to fly out here to see me. And no, I just goodness. stopped answering his calls. And I'm a horrible person for it. <laughs> I actually messaged him. I was like, you hate me, don't you? And he just was like, never replied back. And he went on Snap. And he like posted a bunch of money. And he's like, do you think I care? I was like, wow, okay. okay you're a dickhead. We can do Relax. the same thing. <laughs> Ew, I actually hate it when guys post money and then don't give I it to me. I hate when guys I send me money on my Snaps or like... I'll get DMs from guys with money. And yeah. And it's like, like here, and I I just send him my cash app. I snap I don't have anything like, to say to you. Here's my cash app. Yeah. Like, no, what? you're not sending me money. Then why are you showing me your money? Mm -mm. It has nothing to do with me. I don't give a fuck about your money. Like, it's probably your life savings and you have to pay your rent. So. Yeah. Or it's probably for someone and not for you. But. Yeah. Like, or it's somebody else. <laughs> like, even if it is your money, like, I don't know. Like, I don't feel like men that actually, like, the men that I've experienced that actually have, like, they are wealthy men. They don't brag about their money, you know. Like they don't need to. Yeah, it's the men that well, like have the richest guys wear five thousand like, dollars in their pocket, and they're like, "Oh, baby girl," and you're like, mm. "Give me all of that." Literally, you can't. You like, you can't right. because it will break you. <laughs> oh my god! So why are you showing it to me? Because I am a stripper. I'm gonna try to make you spend it. Yeah, for <laughs> like real. that's my job. Oh my god, dude! I hate it. I hate it when dudes at the club are like. You're all about money. Duh. We're at work. What do you what, what are do you, you think saying, this is? Dude? Yes, give me the money. What do you Sarah about? said you do not belong in Miami. Hey, come on. Wow. Why are you gonna play me like that? <laughs> Taylor never going back to Miami. What happened in Miami? I just be we just have a little too much fun in I Miami. I love Miami because I'm a beach girl. I'm I can't, on the beach all day. There's just way too much shit to do and way too many people inviting you to shit. The, the yeah, options never run out. People, like handing so, me flyers and like trying to exchange numbers after yeah. parties and this party. This I'm like, I have like 12 boyfriends now. Like, wow. 
<sighs> I That's just want to go work went, on the beach. When like. I went there with Trinity a couple years ago, it was literally like every left and right, they were just pulling Trinity. Everybody was pulling Trinity. I'm just like, ah! <laughs> like, okay, I'm All here. Right, I, like. guess. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't tripping because I had my own shit going on that I was just whatever, but I kept mentioning like she was getting pulled. I was like, okay, I'm baby. Like, too young. Just hella young dudes though. Like, tw- like, like literally like 20 year olds, 24 year olds. I'm a, I'm a pre cougar girl. That's what I am. But whatever. I mean, I'll take it, I guess. Oh, I had a good time. <laughs> That's mm-hmm. what matters. That's what matters. Yeah. My trip ended with a nosebleed. So we'll just, oh. we'll just, that's how lit it got for me. No more of that. I keep trying to go to the comments. I'm just like over here struggling. Like, what is going on over here? Oh, well, what else? Oh, yes. Adult Project X. She's talking about that pool party. <laughs> <laughs> and I, and you know what's fucked up? I almost didn't go because I was so hungover. So I was like st- basically still fucked up when I got there. Yes. How do you have 12 dudes on your line when your phone's always dead? <laughs> Your phone two feet dead. Um, <laughs> I know. I, it literally died earlier today while I was on the phone. It was mad as hell. But um, I don't know. I have 61 missed messages right now. And I have 62,000 emails and 229 missed calls. So. Uh, wh- like, why don't you just <laughs> click them in there and click read all? Like, you're not going to go through those. I, I didn't anxiety. know that was a thing. I have anxiety for you. <laughs> I know. Every time somebody sees my phone, they're like, what the fuck is wrong with you? But actually, I like like to see the numbers get higher. It makes you feel cool. It makes you feel wanted. It, oh, no, not cool. I just I just like it. I don't know. What if I want to, you know, what if I need to see something, but then it's like says it's already red and then I can't find it because there's not that little blue dot. You know, I keep my red receipts on. So I just have I literally have I have 33 unread text messages because I don't want to open them because I don't want them to know that I read it. Yeah, I, I have just have respond. I just have hella shit that or I just, just forgot like, to respond shit, like, they're to. They're just like like my, you know, like notifications like I get in. I will get a text message like from saying that my phone bill was automatically taken out. Yeah. Some like, of these people, I don't even I don't need to open are. that like. And I'll give out, I give out my number when I'm, like, blacked out. So motherfuckers be, you know what's a good idea? be texting me and I'm like, I don't know who this is. Give out your number, but give out the last digit different. I know. So then if they try to come back and be like, no, you gave me the wrong number. I'm like, no, I didn't. You were just drunk and you wrote it down wrong. Yeah, you fucking idiot. <laughs> I do that at the club all the time. Like, Ugh. so it becomes, cause like, if you, I don't know, like, I'm not gonna give you my money unless, or my number unless you spend money on me. Like, you have to actually, like, take me into a private room or give me yeah. money on the floor where I actually am like, okay, like, I'll give him my number. So yeah. So I can be like, we take, can communicate come back, and come, come back, back. Right. But if it's somebody that I'm like, mm, he's pr- like, whatever, like, you're not, you did three dances, you gave me $60 and you want my number. Like, no. So I'm why gonna, wouldn't you just tell them no? I don't give my number out rather than go through the hassle of giving them a fake number. Because dudes because are ridiculous. Guys get butt hurt like a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, like they guys really be really be hurt a be, lot of times. I would be know. more hurt by getting the wrong number than somebody just be like, no, thank you. Okay, but then like, so if he comes back in, then right now you got to give him two fake numbers. No, then he's gonna be like, well, no. At that point, I'm just gonna be like, sorry, my guy. <laughs> but. <laughs> When he comes back in, you know, he'll be like, oh, like, fuck her. She gave me the wrong number, da, da, da. You know, and then I'm like, no, I didn't. Like, let's go upstairs and talk about it. I didn't give you the wrong number. And then he'll show me his phone while we're upstairs in VIP. And I'm like, oh, look, you put the wrong, the last digits wrong. That's my number. It's just the last digits wrong. Like. Yeah, you just got it. You were drunk last up. time you were here and you just typed it in wrong. That's your bad, not mine. So let's do another hour. Right. Mm. I don't know. It works for me. Right. Sometimes. Oh, good old VIP. My favorite place to be. Oh, that rhymed, you guys. I'm a <laughs> fucking poet. What is your favorite champagne at the club to drink? My favorite champagne? Um, I don't know. I, I guess I just always say the Dom. Okay. Like, that's... And then, um, what's the other one? Like, I don't even know if we have it anymore. Wasn't it called, like, PJ or some shit? Do you know what I'm talking about? Um, what's the PJ? PJ, um, Do I, you yeah, know what? I don't still fucking have, know. Um, 
PJ, I think, is the one with like the flowers painted on the bottles that like light up on the bottom. Is that about the Pierre Jute? Yeah. No. Oh, this stuff right here. Yes, we still have that. Other I flag. feel like no, that's not the one I like because that one's like. I think not you're thinking. High on the list. Are you talking about the one that has like the metal bottle around it? It's like you know what? I, I I just always say get the Dom because it's eight hundred dollars. I always get um. So I. Dom Rosé, I like Dom Rosé. Um, so yeah, we had PJ be, on Saturday. It's got to be the Pierre because it's like yeah, that's the PJ Rosé. Yeah, it's like one below. But that's not like a champagne room bottle, so that's not like my favorite bottle. Like my favorite is like the well, champagne and, room ones, and those prices are way different compared to right. at the club when you get it. Yeah, yeah, the PJ yeah. is like three hundred or something, um, and the Dom's eight hundred. Well, no, we have multiple. We have like multiple bottles of PJ because you have the PJ oh. Brut, which is a cheap one. Then you have the PJ Rosé, and we have the three liter. The three liter, the three liter uh, PJ is like sixteen hundred, I think. Oh, okay, we've and had that, that big, before. Yeah, it's the big bottle Dom's that lights up on the bottle. at the club. Yeah. Oh, that's cheap. Wait, no, Dom. No, there's um, gotta be like yeah, twelve hundred. Dom Rose is eight hundred. The Dom's eight hundred, yeah. A Dom Rose is eight hundred. The, the regular's brute, gotta be the brute's gotta be brute's like, like no, the brute's cheaper. Brute's always mm. cheaper than Rose or yeah, brute's cheaper than the Rose. ace of spades though is hella like the ace of spades is like five K. The five liter or the three liter bottle of Ace of Spades Rose is fifty five. <laughs> yeah. And then a regular bottle, just a Regular one liter bottle of Ace Rose is um, nineteen, I believe. Yeah, and then I wonder how much is the Cristal? We've we've had that before too. People still drink Cristal. <sighs> they yeah. do, yeah. I think Cristal's like twelve. Yeah, that's the one that stopped 12. after they said it was racist or whatever. Well, it's a mostly white people upstairs, so oh, God. <laughs> I don't think they give <laughs> a <it> fuck. All, okay, <laughs> <laughs> like well, just because Seville just gets like hella like those like those old white guys. Um. um but I had my, I actually had a fucking amazing um, customer like last week, and he was a black dude, and he spent hella money. So shout out, stop <laughs> stop hating on black customers because they spend money. That is true. Don't play yourself. My favorite bottle. Um, we stopped selling it, and I'm super mad about it. It was the Sugar King. Yes, rose. Yeah, I knew um, we got rid of one or something. Yeah, yeah. It was the Sugar King rose demi sec, and it's like a pink, like metal, great bottle. Like it's like a metal, like cage kind of like bottle. And Yum. we stopped selling it, and I'm like, I don't know why, because it was that was my favorite. It was so good because it was so sweet. <laughs> Ugh. But I love they, all the roses. I fucking they hate didn't all the like fruits. us. Like they only wanted us to sell the big bottle of that because the smaller bottle I don't think was. I think the small bottle of like Sugar King is a kind of a cheaper bottle. Yeah, but it's way good. Like I don't know how it's so cheap because it's my favorite. You know what's super nasty? The I really the Ace of Spades to me is like disgusting. Yes. Like it, it's like, like so expensive and it tastes like shit. It. Yeah, it's the brute that the, brute's, the I, dudes well, I ended like up getting, and I'm just like this fucking tastes like shit. A lot of times when I'm in a um, VIP and they don't want to do a rosé because they say that it's too sweet um, and you don't want to sell a Brut bottle because they're, like, less expensive. And, you know, we want to get the bottles that are more because we get credit for those bottles. Yeah. Um, we get commission for the bottles depending on, like, they have to be over 450 Yeah. But, like, like so the Sugar King bottles I think were, like, 450 But there's a um, – there is a PJ called um, it's like a PJ Blanc de Blanc. It's eight hundred dollars, and it's a brute. Oh, it has, Blanc yeah, de Blanc, the Blanc de Blanc. Yes. Yeah, um, I know. That's Blanc my Blanc. favorite one to get in the champagne room because unless I get the Dom Rosé or like yeah any Rosé, but if they don't want to do Rosé, I always get the Blanc de Blanc because it's. I feel like we've gotten a, Blanc de Blanc so many times because I think that's what. They usually push for either the Dom or the Blanc. De yeah, because the Blanc de Blanc is still an eight hundred dollar bottle, but it's not as sweet. It's a sweet bottle, but it's sweet because it has pear juice in it mm. instead of like all the sugar, you know. Mm. So it has more of a natural sweet, which is nice. And it like yeah, champagne gets me sweet. fucked up. So, and bubbles. And we got a we got a question from the the comment section from B A Brooks. He wants to know what is the most overrated bottle you guys see people buying in the club. Is there one that you see it come out and you just roll your eyes? An overrated, an bottle. overrated bottle. Um, like for me, oh my god, in the club it'd be like Bel Air. We don't even sell Bel Air. Yeah, when I'm like, at the nightclub or when I see people on Snapchat or anything with Bel Air, I'm like sick. I don't even know. I don't know <laughs> what Bel Air is. Bel Air is like a $75 bottle at the liquor store. It's um, I think it's Rick Ross's like 
brand yeah. of champagne. And it used to be really popular when it first came out. And, like, it's just – it's a cheap champagne and it's disgusting. Ew. It's not good and it's super cheap. It's just, like, people get it. Like, people will go to the club and, like, buy, like, five bottles of Ew. Bel Air. And they're, like, you know, like, okay, you just spent, like, I can't even think of anything. Right. <laughs> I mean, I like I like when they get like forty two Casamigos or Tito's, and then anything else, I'm just like, why would you get that? At like when guys club, get I crown, hate when people get oh it's disgusting. My God. Why would you get a crown bottle of crown? or um like Grey Goose? Like, I hate Grey Goose. Oh, like, this that's... bottle talk. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hey, baby. Um, I think Grey Goose tastes like shit. Grey Goose tastes like rubbing alcohol. Yes, it's disgusting. Like. Ugh. It's so – and, like, it's – it's. I think at our job it's, like, a $300 bottle, and I'm mm-hmm. like, stop selling it. Yeah, stop. please just get it's Tito's, disgusting. fam. Literally get Tito's. It tastes so much better. Tito's is way better. Or you can <laughs> skip, I don't know, like, Tito's. Ciroc. Um, It's the UV vodka – <laughs> Ooh. Ew. Oh, you're I, talking about Bel Air. This is the UV vodka. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, my God, um, that's, that's so disgusting. True. I haven't had UV vodka since I think I was a child. UV vodka was probably the first thing I ever got drunk off of. So I think that's like for everybody. Yeah. Was, you guys, the UV blue. The, yeah, UV blue. Yep. The, the first drink I ever drank was fucking Seagram's gin. So. Oh, car cough for me. Like four shots of it, and it was 7 a.m., and then I walked to the bus stop, and I was like, this is why people drank. <laughs> it's like, I, um, I was all warm and bubbly. First time I ever drank, I stole my friends. Um, me and my girlfriend, we stole her dad's like bottle of car cough, and we filled it up the bottle up with water and put it back in the fridge or the freezer. That's fucking hilarious. Yeah, nice. and then I've, and we then y'all got learned. Caught. We all, we learned that that you that's uh, does ma'am. not work. Like, <laughs> and it wasn't oh worth God. it because it was disgusting. It was so gross. I'm like, why are we drinking this? I used to just take all my dad's booze and all, like pour a little bit of each into one water bottle and it was just like a punch of d- disgusting mixed mm. drinks it would be like scotch whiskey gin vodka Jeez. oh my god Ooh, that explains a lot like, That's, <laughs> like he's like can you drink that like, <laughs> oh my god it was fucking nasty but then eventually actually my parents just started buying me bottles when i was like 16 i would literally like cry it and then my dad would like make my mom go to the store for me like, go get this girl a bottle. So, just <laughs> my, terrible parenting. <laughs> my mom never drank. Still to this day, I've never seen my mom drink a drop of alcohol. Oh, my never. God. I've been ne- not even, like, a glass of wine, champagne, nothing. My mom will not drink. She does no drinks, no drugs, nothing. Um, and my dad did for her liver. My, yeah. My dad didn't drink. Um, didn't he was drink. sober, like, my whole life growing up. And then he just started drinking beer like 10 years ago. Wow. Um, so we never had liquor in our house. So it was always like liquor. I, that's why I don't drink like that. Like yeah. weed though. A little high Weed ass. was always in my house. <laughs> <laughs> I always would go into my dad's uh, garage and find something. And, yep. I used to steal my dad's weed yeah. too. I st- he used to get so mad at me. He had like all his little bowls and like all his paraphernalia and he would just come home like, where's all my shit? And I just blame it on one of my other sisters. Like, I don't know. I'm the baby. Yeah, well, it wasn't me. Mm. <laughs> yeah, my ass used to be crazy. Well, I guess I'm still crazy, huh? I need to go on another uh, no drinking hiatus, you guys. I made it 14 days. When? Like a couple months ago. Oh, okay. I was like, no, not not recently. It was like um in May. In May, I went 14 days in May. So that was uh, very, you know, helpful. I think I remember that. I think I remember you being at work and like. Yeah, I didn't. I wasn't even drinks. drinking a drop. Mm-mm. And you're like, wasn't even hard. And now I'm like, I just like want to go to seven and have a drink and some fucking shrimp. And then one drink turns into three. I th- it's more <laughs> of like, I think it's because you're like a social drinker. Yeah, like, a little too like, social. But like you want right. to go out. I'm, I'm the same way out. because I'm not somebody that like I'm just going to be at home and be like, I need a drink. But yeah. like the minute I'm like out right. with my friends, like, let's get a drink and roll yeah. up. <laughs> like what else am I like? What am I? I don't know what else to do. Because like. Yeah. I was thinking because, like, we're supposed to go to, like, what um, side chick or something later. And I'm thinking in my head, like, wait, like, I can't. I don't know if I can drink. And I'm like, well, then what's the point of going? Like, I want this Casamigo slushy that everybody's talking oh, about. Th- those are so good. Shout See? out to side chicks. For those real, Casamigos shout out. I haven't had amazing. it. I've been there so many times that I've never tried it. But well, yeah, because you don't drink tequila. I drink yeah. tequila on Saturday. Oh. Yeah, you got to get the island chick sandwich <laughs> in the slushy. Ooh, yeah! I haven't even tried the sandwiches yet. Oh, the same. Sam- I don't like that one because it has pineapple on it, right? 
Yeah, yeah. they did put yeah. the fucking pineapple on it. I do, I really don't like when they put pi- like anything sweet on something that's not sweet. You know what I mean? Like I pineapple on pizza. Yeah, no, pineapple no, no on a sandwich. Pineapple, so. Warm pineapple is just a no for me. But I but it looks so fucking good though. So it, I bet it, it's fire. Everything that I see, like I'm like, oh wow, that looks really, really good. Yeah. But then like I know that I don't like vegetables or like too many vegetables or I don't like pineapple. So I'm gonna look look I'm gonna eat it and be like, this is gross. Yeah, or the mac and cheese. Really good. I love Ooh, their we mac, had the mac the and cheese. The best mac and cheese that's not like homemade. Man, yeah, I had the fire. And the, I had the chicken tenders too. Those were fire with like the Cajun seasoning or whatever. Um I need to try like the lemon pepper. I always just lemon get pepper Cajun. is good. Mm. I get the sweet, um, sweet garlic chili. Ooh, Bye. yeah. I just never. I can't pass up lemon pepper or or Cajun for for fucking Thai or any type of like. I guess I just like them dry. Give me I like dry. dry. I mean, I like wet. I don't like. I don't like the, the wet wings. I like wet wings. <laughs> <laughs> but I do like that wet ass pussy. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm very tempted. This, this bottle of Patron is just like staring at me like, Mila, drink me. Please. I can't believe I had tequila on Saturday. I literally, we were, when I was at the fight, I was at the armory. And oh God. Like, I seen a girl that I used to dance with. Like, I actually love her. Her name is Mara. I don't want to say her real name. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I feel like cool. everybody can tell what you were gonna say, but yeah. that's okay. Her name's Mariah. Um, she well, she doesn't even dance anymore, and I don't nobody even know like, who yeah, you're talking no. about. Um, but shout out to her. She, um, I when I first started dancing, I was underage, so I wasn't able to drink, and like she would literally like feed me shots, and she would just bring me over. She had like super. This bitch was bad, bad as hell, Ooh. and she had the best clientele. Like all, like she was one of the, she was a v, she was a VIP snob. Mm-hmm. Like she was ah. constantly every day. So you know, she me and her fell in good and she's just like yeah you're with me so she just introduced me to a lot of very wealthy people that like literally you would just go into the vip room and we would just drink and hang out and like not even do anything like it was just like yeah fun, you know yeah like, no i love that's and, my like, favorite clients when you're just like up there like just chilling and they don't make you dance the whole time don't have to do anything the like, guy that uh, comes in and we, pays us to do twister and connect four competitions thank you please be more like that the minute that <laughs> Wait, i what? met yes there's yeah a guy that comes in um does he bring his own like twister and connect four game no and, there's and, no a we have dancer it. that okay. um there's one of our dancers that has it all in her locker so he'll pick out like he'll come in with a group of people or even if it's just him he'll grab like I don't know, however many girls pay each girl a thousand dollars an hour and we listen to like Grease Lightning and dance like we literally are like dancing to Grease and Oh my god playing Twister and Connect Four and like we don't have to do shit. He doesn't want us to dance. He doesn't even want us to take our clothes off. Like he's like, please stay close. Literally like For the, the girls love of God. <laughs> the girls that come over and try to be pushy and try to like put their boobs in his face or like try to like, you know, be like extra and like push up on him. He's like I don't want her over here. Damn. Like he's not, and I don't necessarily like. He's not gay. I don't think. Um, Was this an established, like, I guess, tradition when you guys first started working at the club, or did he just come in one day and was like, "Hey, I've got this proposition <laughs> for you"? And you guys, I have like, no idea. I was just brought into it. It was just I started there, and they were like, "Yeah, this guy's over here. He likes blondes. Come on over." And yeah, that's just how it was. And it's just he Interesting. comes in every. Sl- very randomly now he used to come in a lot more but um but no yeah so anyway so this girl she um so we're sitting like at the fight or whatever and i like look in front of me and there's this girl and she turned around and she's like oh my god ariel I'm like hey i haven't seen you in years like how are you and she like the guy that she was with like had bought in a bottle of patron and she like has a champagne she had they had like champagne earlier and then they got Patron, so she's got her empty champagne glass, and she just, like, fills it up with tequila oh, and, like, hands it to the guy that I'm with, and he hands it to me, like, and I'm like, no, I don't do tequila. And I've got, like, Red Bull here, and I just, like, finished my shot, so I have, like, a can of Red Bull, but I don't have a drink, and I look back at the bar, and there's a huge line at the bar, and I'm like, babe, do you want to go get me this drink real quick? He's like, not really, because you have tequila right here. Like, just drink your tequila. So oh, like, my God. So you just had to take man, it Man, I did it. I drank it. I drank it in, like, three gulps. But, like, you just it think actually, it's disgusting or it just fucks you up? No, my body literally, like, for the longest time, 
my body like literally rejected it. Like I could not, the oh, smell like, of it. Yes. Like it was just, I got the first time I ever blacked out was on tequila. It was on Patron. And oh, I just shat. have not like, I've tried drinking it before and I'm just mm, get it away. That's like, how I feel about Hennessy. And I told him, I was just like, Can't bro, like I'm going to throw up if I drink this. And he's <sighs> like, no, you're not, babe. Just drink it. And I'm like, all right, well, you're going to be taking care of me anyways. So. <laughs> But I got it down. It was good. I got it down and it was not a problem. And I was like, hmm, I think I can drink tequila now. Not oh, my God. I've literally thrown to, up though. in my mouth before from drinking, like, scotch. This one guy, like, tried to make me down. Down. For, who the fuck does this? A shot of scotch. But I remember literally, like, throw up definitely came, like, into my mouth. And I was just like. Like, you, like, gagged. Yeah. Like, that's just, I don't know. Like, like I'm I very, I have it. a very <laughs> sensitive palate, too. Like, I can't taste liquor. If I taste the alcohol, like, it's going to hurt my stomach, and I'm going to want to, like, my body is just, like, get it out. Yeah. Well, I always just get vodka soda, so I guess I don't mind. T- I Actually, I like to taste it. If I don't taste it, then I'm like, why the fuck can't I taste the alcohol? I drink, is there even any in here? I drink peach Ciroc chilled with Red Bull mm, or That pineapple. sounds super good. It's really good because you don't taste the liquor. Hella sugar. <laughs> hella sugar, though. That's why it's good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And I can drink a lot of it, too. And, like, it, I don't know. Oh. I don't get, like, fucked up off of it. Oh, this booze stuck. Making my liver hurt. The pain. I mean, like, what? how many days was I? I don't even remember Sunday. Like, what the fuck? Sunday. All I know is that I was drinking all day and I lost my oh, keys. Sunday. Saturday. You lost your keys Saturday night. Yeah, which is technically... Sunday morning because a bitch just er, didn't no, go to sleep. No, it wasn't Saturday night. It was well, technically. Well, it's technically like Sunday morning. Yeah. Well, because we you were inside your apartment when I seen you Saturday night, and then you left at like after I left around like two three in the morning, and then from there you lost your keys. What a psychopath! People got stop asking me to hang out after work. Okay, I can't do it. No I cannot hang. <laughs> like, I just can't. This life. It's not meant for me. I mean, I'm, I'm sometimes I'm good at it, but most of the time I'm terrible. I'm always like the mom driving everybody and like, okay, guys, it's time to go. God <laughs> damn, dude. I've literally just been like put into Ubers and I don't even know how the fuck I make it home. Like, thank God these like Uber guys aren't like fucking psychopaths because I could literally be kidnapped at, at any time. Um, ugh. It's so nice. You guys, I got my fucking Twitter back. These ba- these bastards. Um, They tried to ban me for life. Like, after I did that, like, slut walk or whatever the for the International Whores Day with oh, Swap. Oh, you talking about, like, the little parade thing? Yeah, and I, like, posted something that said, like, decrim or whatever, and, like, my ass was in it. And they were, like, they banned me f- saying that it was hate speech and and, like, gore so, or something that like, made no sense and every time i debated it or like whatever the fuck it's called they were like no they just were like no and it's not gonna be restored and then all of a sudden like last week it's fucking restored like magically so shout out because that was fucking depressing Do it one won't hurt you guys <laughs> sarah i know she a little crazy ass <laughs> instigator <laughs> oh my gosh i mean i literally yeah, I still haven't even. You know what I ate today? I had, I think I had three string cheeses and two beef jerkies. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just made you some fire ass chicken Alfredo. Yeah, so, so I'm so excited I to eat that for you. Because bitches ain't ate shit today except for cheese, which except I need help for because cheese. I can. I'll go through a twelve pack of string cheese in two days, like easily. I love cheese. Like, good, you're gonna like my Alfredo so then because I put a lot of cheese on it. Fuck yeah, I will. Yum. I love cheese. Uh, okay, like, are, so are you working tonight? What are you doing tonight? I don't know. I kind of, I've been there the last three nights, and I'm like, I had decent nights. I had pretty good nights, so I'm like, do I want to go and have okay, another six. good night? Or does a bitch want to go and have a drink? Right. Oh, I want to do s- something. I but wonder... also, I'm like, I feel like when I go out, I every time I go out, I end up just fucking meeting some psycho-ass dude. Like where where do all the the sexy handsome non psycho dudes with good dick where are y'all at please <laughs> if you want Man. to DM me <laughs> and I will send you in the right direction <laughs> either to my vagina um, or last Ariel's. night <laughs> last night um a couple of my girlfriends at work um they decided to have. 
a guest call one of his friends because they thought that I would like him. And he was actually super fine. Um, he was not not my type, which is probably a good thing. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm saying, like, maybe maybe you should they start were, like, dating, like, club, not your like, type. Like, Cupid. See, I've done that before, like, but then I just don't. It's just never your type. Never go into it. It's, it's just, just it's like... like <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get bored with you. This is the yeah. thing, like, I'm a fucking brat, and I have a smart, and I tell every guy that I date this. Number one, I am a brat. I have a smart ass mouth. Yeah, learn how to and freaking figure it out. I'm not gonna deal with no shit, but like, I am a good ass woman. I'm a very good woman. Too good. But I know you tell me that all the time. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> literally, you tell me. Be that, a little like, less being, loyal, bitch. <laughs> just, it's like stop being a ride or die. Like you're please. gonna die. <laughs> like there's yeah, there, I, there's no point. I'm like God. I'm the opposite of a ride. But or I make die. it very clear to every guy that I date because I know myself and I know like I'm a fucking brat. Yeah. I like, can be faithful if I'm, I really like you, but like you like. Oh, I can be a very not, not no damn ride or die. Woman. If you need if you need a ride, you call Uber because. It's oh, a no yeah, for you me. Call me. You need a ride. I got you. I'm on my way. I, but I ain't driving nowhere. I, <laughs> but like, I also, I also feel like I can't have a dude that like, like even though I'm a brat and like I'm gonna want to get my way all the time. Like if you give me my way all the time, I'm just gonna get bored with you. <laughs> Yeah, right. You like, know, well, then because you're gonna like lose respect up, for the yeah, dude, like, just, like, like oh, now you're like, fucking... I need like a happy medium of like put my put me in my place when it needs to be, but also, but like, not too much though. Yeah, don't be like, crazy. don't be crazy about it. You don't, can be. Don't try to hit me. You can damn. like. Yeah, like there's no need for like crazy talk. Like just be like, babe, chill. I might not, but like, <laughs> fucking <laughs> looking for the girls that only get on their knees to pray. I literally was driving, um, I was driving up, like, up north, like, only an hour up north, but, they, you know, they, they'd be crazy once you get out the cities. And there's, like, all these signs, like, get on your knees for the church. And and that's just, like, instead of, like, kneeling for, like, politics, it's just, like, only get on your knees for church. But, yeah, right, Brandon, you know you aren't somebody who gets on their knees for other reasons, too. You crazy man. <laughs> stop lying I don't even think somebody could reach you honestly because you're so tall it's like they would have to get on their knees like on the bed he's like a bazillion feet tall <laughs> I'm just saying nobody can reach that um, oh you guys there's there's a twins game so what is what day is it today? There's one today. Oh, it's Wednesday, I but think. that one's already done though. Yeah. But on like Friday, a there's a home one at seven ten, and then on Saturday there's a home one at six ten. So we're gonna make that Monday this weekend, bitches. Um, oh, so no. are you a huge Friday Twins fan? Is, like, it says Rays at Twins. Friday is Melinda's birthday party. Well, I gotta work. Okay. Like, where's her party? I don't know. Oh, okay. Um, wow. Union, I th- Union, I think. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Hey, I Kayla. cannot go to fucking Holy Union. Shit, I forgot. Please, nobody ever invite me to Union ever again. <laughs> like, I will send you a postcard. Bring a picture of me. I'll FaceTime you. Yeah. Like, we here, bitch. <laughs> I swear. I have to wear, like, a blonde wig or something next time I go there. And they still might be like, bitch, you, you playing. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did you get your wig back <laughs> Oh, yes, I did. And when I came back into Jack's, some other person was wearing it, and I snatched off his head, and then he came up to me and was like, that was really mean of you to, to take the wig off my head like that. And I'm like, this is it's $400, and it's mine, boy. Do you got? Do you have $400? Who are you? Like, also, like, like, don't put random people's wigs on your head. Yeah, like, what is wrong with you? To? Now I gotta so, Trevor, soak it. Um, Trevor told me that. You were, when you got to his house that night. Oh, yeah. Um, super late. You were like looking for your wig and you could not find your wig. You were like, where the fuck is my wig? Like, I need my wig. I didn't, I cannot lose my wig. And he looked at your purse and he was like, what the fuck is in you? He thought yeah. an animal was in yeah. your purse. I was literally carrying it around inside he my purse. stuffed it in this yeah. little ass bag. Yeah. And imagine like, guys still talk to me even when I have 
a wig sticking out of my purse. And that just goes to show how disgusting I mean, baby, you are. bad, though. No, That's no. Crazy. I was looking a hot mess. This was day two. I had clothes from yesterday. No makeup. It was tough. It was a tough thing to see. Interesting. And... And I had like a rat tail hanging out of my purse <laughs> because it had not been, it had been washed. So it was just all fucking raggedy and shit. I was like, I swear to God, it looks good when it's brushed. Okay, y'all. Like, but um, yeah, don't invite me out no more. <laughs> uh, please, for the love of God, do not invite me out because bitch needs help. <laughs> About to just check into some sort of rehab in Costa Rica or something. Ooh, Costa Rica. Uh, but then I'd end up having like hella margaritas or something. <laughs> At the rehab center? that sounds so good, like on the beach. <laughs> I saw that, I saw no. that wig when I was watching Enzo and I damn near cried. <laughs> my sister, dude, you always <laughs> talk shit when you see my wig because I'll just like have it like hanging up and she's like, what the fuck is that? Like, it literally looks like you murdered somebody. <laughs> Like, not me, but. And then what's his name was wearing it with this with his sombrero. Yeah, that was he hilarious. like insisted on bringing it on. And I'm like, <sighs> that was hilarious. I'm about to lose so much shit today. When we got to his house, and I just like look like is that? God. That's Mila's wig. <laughs> and I tried bringing Enzo to fucking Jack's too. I got away with it for like ten minutes, and then they were like, um, "There's definitely no dogs allowed here." Like, and um, Enzo's crazy ass. Ain't no hiding him. I'm like, I don't know that why the fuck y'all let me walk in. Everybody's saying hi. I'm like, yeah, then they kicked me out. They were like, yeah, you gotta go. But they were like helping me. This like one guy was like helping me. He's like, and you, you like, you can't leave him in your car. And I'm like, well, I know that. Like, goddamn. Uh-huh. Type of like torture do you think I am? Why do you think I brought him in here? Yeah. So then I literally, this guy was like, you could leave him in my house. And so he like put away his cats and I put Enzo there. And... But yeah, that was my night. So I don't know. It's fucking crazy. Good thing like I kn- I knew the dude because I wonder what Enzo did at his house the whole time. Just probably like where the fuck am I? Yeah, I should have never got a dog because I'm just he not, was like I'm not responsible in his enough backyard for this. the next day. He was <laughs> when, like, I, when I came over there the next day, he was like digging holes all over in the backyard. Fucking psychopath. <laughs> so bad i'm about to send his ass to daycare finally like i just keep like not doing it but i'm like his little badass yeah you should they yeah they have like obedience classes that you can do yeah there's like daycare ones with like training programs and shit there's ones for like 50 i think it's at 56 a day or some shit and i'm like yeah let's go you need to get out of here yeah he just needs like a week or two of just like obedience classes for i need to like he's yeah. a puppy you know like he's on the weekends i should like for real i should just be like you gotta go because apparently i cannot handle my weekends Bitches are crazy. But, um, all right. I have to pee and I have to get the f- out of here. I think it's, it's almost, been it's almost been an time. hour. So, yeah, I mean, you know, we just came to chit chat. I didn't really have shit. Well, I guess we did have shit to talk about. We were going to do Would oh. You Rather Stripper. Oh, well, I don't know any. Do you know No, any? no, I don't. We would have had to, like, come up with actual questions. I I had a whole list, actually, because I do have an episode where we where me and Emily do that. So I'll have to find it. Oh. And then I, I should, like, write them down. And then, like, we could all, like, just get together and, like, make our own game. Because it was fucking hilarious, the whole thread that we had. Like, so funny. Yeah. These girls be coming up with some good-ass shit. I um, always listen people. to this talk show on the radio that Trevor put me on. And they do, like, Would You Rathers. And I love them now. That's all. I, now all I do is, like, I have a group. We have, like, a group chat that we just have Would You Rather. Oh my god! Just come up with what you rather is. Yeah, I'm like, I need to like sit down and think about it because like every time I put on the spot, I'm like, I don't fucking know. Like, would I rather make a thousand upstairs or make a thousand on the floor? Um, after a quick Google search, do you want to go through like three of them? Oh sure. Let's see. Um, would you rather every time you have sex, it takes one day off your life? Or wait, hold on. Oh my gosh! We both just went ahead of it. (laughs) I be dead so fast. Right. <laughs> Live so thirty. Here we go. That was a weird one. Would you rather lose your sex organs forever or gain two hundred pounds for the rest of your life? Two hundred pounds. Yeah, two hundred pounds. Yeah, <laughs> big and beautiful, baby. Uh, would you rather have sex with your cousin in secret or not have sex with your cousin, but everyone thinks you did? Not have had what? Not have sex with them and have. What? I don't give a fuck what everybody thinks. Yeah, I'll yeah. Whatever you want, but I'm not <laughs> fucking my cousin. Wait, That's so the- either everybody thinks you did, right? And you, you did, and you, and, and you, you definitely didn't. didn't. Or, or you nobody did, and nobody, nobody knows. knows. 
Yeah, I don't. I mean, let's just not. Yeah, what you said. Yeah, like I'm just. <laughs> y'all are just gonna have to think whatever the fuck you want. Cause... What type of cousin is it? Like my first cousin or my second cousin, <laughs> or like I'm not or twice cousins. removed. Because twice removed. Was he married into the family? Yeah. <laughs> then I might. I might is go. Is blood relation? Um, yeah. Would you rather have no, no. penis or five penises? <laughs> Well, I, I mean, I already have no penis. Like, do I get a vagina if I don't? Fine. Would you rather have no vagina or five vaginas? Oh, I guess. I guess five vaginas. <laughs> <laughs> I Where are they going to go? I can't live a life. I guess I would like be having five, five sums all the time. I mean, like, and you, where are you going to pee if you don't have a vagina? Like, I have to urinate. Yeah, and I need orgasms. There has to be... I just yeah, can't picture sex. life without like without sex, sex or sex orgasms. Like, what or is like... the? What am I gonna do? Like, just be a foodie? I don't get. I would, just... you, would you rather be a virgin forever or have sex with your brother or sister slash one virgin. Uh, one time? Virgin. I'm a virgin. <laughs> oh my god! That's it for me. <laughs> like, okay, I guess I can be a virgin, but I can still get like some head though, right? As long as there's no penetration. Wait, what about anal? Does that does that count? As I, I'll just be a vagina virgin. That's what but I everything else, not a virgin. I'm just making loopholes now. Oh. You got sounds to. so you terrible. Got to because ain't no way I'm doing a family member. No. All these incest questions. This is uncomfortable. Who made this? I didn't make the questions. I'm scrolling through. He's like, I'm just finding them. Uh, would That's you rather? Would hell. you rather have unlimited money, power, and respect, or unlimited sex? I mean. I think you can get un- you can get unlimited sex with the money, power, and respect. So, okay. yeah, money, power, respect, and then I'll pay for them hoes. Yeah, I need that bag. I would have so many bitches if I was just like rich. They wouldn't even have to do shit. I'd just be like, babe, here you go. Come here, baby. Come here. <laughs> go mm. shopping. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. All right, we're getting yeah. up out of here because I have a doctor's appointment. Are we going to side chicks? Yeah, but I gotta go to this fucking appointment though. Okay. Do, 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 do. What? Are you working? I doubt it. I can't. I'll probably. I'm gonna work definitely on Friday and Saturday. Probably tomorrow too. Probably Thursday through Saturday. Well, I don't, I don't want to instigate anything, but if you want a drink after your appointment, yeah. If I can, that's if, that's if I can. Well, they're just like, yeah, you're an old lady. I gotta smoke. What, when is your doctor's appointment? Your man told me, pull up my pants like I was going to jump a bridge. Now you want to.